Hello my soccer universe. Let's put it out right now. This weekend overall was not a very good weekend for me in terms of soccer and I'm definitely starting with the least sucky video <laughs> to review the weekend and I will slowly get into the others. I think the more it sucks, the later I will post it. Uh, it's just a reality. Uh, however, I have to say whatever happens happened in England and in the Netherlands largely was to my liking, although I I followed it, uh, watched uh, highlights now, but you know, I, Spain and Italy and France definitely <laughs> took a front seat because there's uh, really a lot to play for. I'm of course wearing a Leicester away jersey, which I honestly do not quite get why they couldn't wear their white jersey against Chelsea in the FA Cup final. I assume it's because of the white socks for Chelsea. That is my thought and then they went all maroon, which was not a great uh, jersey matchup and it really bugs me because now everyone will get out and get those maroon jerseys, which are not that great, honestly. Less than white, much better, much better, but you know, not complaining. So yeah, first headline, definitely uh, Leicester uh, winning it all. Um, also, uh, before we go to Premier League, the ne Netherlands, we have PSV making it into the Champions League, as that's going into Europa League, and we have actually the playoffs set now for the uh, Conference League, which is very exciting, <laughs> I am pretty sure, uh, for the teams involved. But you know, I I hear a lot of negative talk, especially from English-speaking media on this Conference League. I wanna. I, I want to be cautiously optimistic and actually look forward to it because I think there will be quite a few interesting teams there as well. Just got to see. And then in the Premier League, I think Chelsea had one rotten week uh, to forget. And I think Liverpool had the exact opposite. Probably one of the best weeks, uh, even though it looked like it could turn to a turn but then Alisson comes up and scores a winner. Um, they also had, of course, uh, City confirmed as champions. So, uh, and they played a very, very fun game. Let's go into it. I want to start with the Eredivisie because I just give you the results and comment a little bit on that. Uh, PSV more or less had already on Thursday their uh, Champions League spot wrapped up because AZ dropped points against Groningen and they won against Zwolle, which at that point uh, put them three clear with a much, 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 much better goal difference. So all that they needed to do is get a single point. I even think that um, the chances that I have computed here are, are, are not correct because I... And then... Um, PSV dropped points against Utrecht, however, I'd say even winning 5-0 is just not enough. They needed to make up 10 goals uh, <laughs> to get anywhere close and uh, that they did, didn't achieve. And so the final standings uh, is that Ajax flying high, scoring over 100 goals. That is remarkable in 34 games. Uh, and PSV and AZ also uh, head to neck to neck, but PSV having had the advantage of, of, overall. As if it tests, it goes in the car conference and there's a four team playoff for this final spot, which intriguingly throws up a uh, Rotterdam derby uh, to be played on Wednesday. And Utrecht against Groningen uh, is the other one. We also have relegation semi finals uh, where Hamburg is coming up. Uh, for, and the other team is the go-ahead Eagles, those are the two promoted teams and we have now the relegated teams of Venlo and Den Haag and Emmen goes into those playoffs. And now uh, just to give, give an idea, I think Emmen is really favored because uh, Neck and Roda Gese, uh both of them were the uh, Seventh and eighth place team, they actually made upsets to go further. Nak Breda was the fifth place team, so I actually think that Emmen should probably win this whole tour tournament and stay in there. That's it for the Netherlands. We'll go now to the FA Cup final. I thought because we we'll go now, let's talk FA Cup final because um, that was in many ways the feel good story of the weekend. Sorry, Chelsea fans. I know if you're a Chelsea, uh, Chelsea fan, you don't see it. But I think even if you're a Chelsea fan, you should at least appreciate the fact that you lost against a team that wins the first FA Cup that we had f fans in the stadium and that has an owner that actually really cares about the team. Uh, and you could see uh, in the celebrations after, after, it was just, it felt good. 
for uh, uh, years now, ever since they won the Premier League, uh, you want to look at, uh, you look at Leicester and you're rooting for, you find yourself rooting for them. And I know if you're in England, you might have a different perspective on, on things, but from a neutral perspective coming outside, it's easy to root for Leicester. And when they score such a scorcher of a winner in a game where, yes, Chelsea definitely had more of the game, but uh, then this great shot from two Yuri Tillemans from far out, a uh, really great, great goal and they are one of the best winning goals uh, in a long time, I might add. Well, okay, Gareth Bale. I guess Liverpool and A team pro is super seasoned, but I, I don't remember uh, much greater goals to win a trophy. That egg actually ignited the game and then Chelsea was really uh, trying to score and uh, Kasper Schmeichel had to make two huge saves and then they were saved by VAR uh, by a fraction Madison uh, no, what was, was Madison? Uh, Chilwell, not Madison, I got those two. Uh, was offside uh, and avoided in such a um, case an own goal. Um, my girls were, of course, they are at the moment very much into the Royals for some reason, uh, and I had to show them Prince William. Um, they were very surprised that he is there. I actually liked how Wes Morgan tried to hug, hug him and he, no, 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 no. And I especially liked uh, when they raised the trophy. One, two, three, and the head, the top goes off. <laughs> that was, that made me laugh. So yeah, Leicester City winning the first FA Cup. Um, as I said, I didn't quite understand the church. Jersey match, it was great to see fans back in the stadium. Uh, it had a, it was the feel-good story of the weekend in many ways. And again, sorry, Chelsea. I know you had a, you had an absolutely rotten week. I will come to your league uh, results, but also that you lost the Women's Champions League final. I think if I was Chelsea, and I know I, I don't want to be superstitious in any way, but if you're Chelsea, you avoid wearing the new jerseys in the Champions League final against Man City. Go with the tried and tested ones. I don't dislike your current cur jerseys, but I... This jersey is already cursed. And that's important. Go with the old jerseys for the Champions League final. And so let's go into the Premier League. It was such a mess with so many makeup uh, games uh, squeezed into this week. So uh, I'll try to keep track of it now and tell you about uh, some of the games that I saw and um, to kind of... Uh, stay on top of things. Uh, the first one is Southampton, I think, coming back to win against Crystal Palace. Then we had, that was on Tuesday, and then also on Tuesday we had uh, Manchester United playing a B team against Leicester City. And Leicester City, of course, won. And uh, I have been talk talking about that uh, Chelsea ha ha had a rotten week in many ways. United also had it because uh, that gamble just did not pay off playing the B team uh, against Leicester uh, because they ended up losing 2-1 two, uh, uh, two and didn't look all the greatest. Wild, wild, wild here it was a really bad game overall. Chelsea, their week really started badly by losing against Arsenal and Arsenal doing the first time the double against Chelsea since, since the Invincible season, which just does not compute. And the way the goal came was just such a fluke with uh, Jorginho making a back pass. Uh, he plays it towards the goal, though Kepa is not there and, and you can see he's, he's even looking there. You don't play a back pass towards goal. You just don't do that. And then, yeah, uh, Kepa clears it off the line, uh, goes to Obama Young, plays to Smith Rowe, and it's 1 0 Arsenal. And Chelsea has a goal disallowed by Pulisic and so on, but I cannot find, find the winner. But this seemed like more of a blip, but actually a big one, because this would have um, a win here, would have fairly easily set you on the Champions League path. Uh, it was still, Liverpool still need, needed to make up games against United, still look good for Chelsea and for Leicester. Um, however, you saw now a path for Liverpool with two games in hand to actually make up some ground and that's exactly what uh, they did. For, for that though, Aston Villa and Everton played a goalless draw and then United Liverpool. Um, first win for Klopp at Old Trafford. Um, in a fairly entertaining game, it, it was bad that the German Cup final was at the same time, so I switched a little bit back, back, back and forth, but uh, I probably s flipped over just when Liverpool really got in, into the game, because Fernandes gave them uh, er, an early goal, although I think it should have been Kaka's an on, on goal, but then um, Philip stays 
I have to, I think it was a corner kick in the, uh, he got a shoulder shot block, stays in the scene and plays to Jota Hood and back heels in the third, 34th and then a really nice cross by Alexander Arnold is headed in uh, by Firmino just before half time and it's 2-1 Liverpool. They turn, turn the game around and it gets even better because Firmino, um, Alexander Arnold's shot is blocked, falls to Firmino and in the 47th he makes it 3-1. So that game seemed to be at that moment Done, done and dusted. However, uh, Greenwood come, comes on a little bit later, Rashford makes it 2-3. And United trying to exert a lot of pressure onto Liverpool to get that equalizer, but not many big chances. In the end, it's uh, Salah who runs clear on goal and buries it and makes it 4-2 for Liverpool. Pretty, pretty big win for them because after uh, that, that game, suddenly the chances increased from 24 to 48%. So still a game in hand, still looking good though. In many many ways so uh, things turning up for Liverpool and at that at, at that moment you, uh, if you're Chelsea you know yeah you have a difficult game against Leicester coming up and then Liverpool um, you know goal difference also very very similar so it is not easy it might actually come down to goal difference okay then on the weekend uh, it was a, it was a classic that didn't count cover between you and Newcastle and City it's the perfect 4-3 with four lead changes. Newcastle take, take, takes the lead. Cancelo and Ferran Torres uh, turned around. The uh, Ferran Torres goal really nicely like Ibra in the air, back heeled it in. Uh, but then Joel Linton penalty makes it 2-2 at the half. We get another uh, pen penalty for New Newcastle that Willock first have final finds it safe, but on the rebound, he makes it 3-2. So the third lead change or already and then Ferran Torres with a double in the 64th and the 66th turns around makes it 4-3 for Man City who of course got a guard of honor the first game as champions that is what I forgot the Liverpool uh, the um, uh, Leicester win over United made uh, their city rivals of course champions uh, other games of note West Ham dropping points again uh, which means that they will definitely not make top four and probably not even make it into your Europa League uh, Leeds United 4-0 is also uh, kind of a big win uh, Spurs against Wolves Weird jersey ma ma matchup and um, lots of big changes there was one crazy scene where the Wolves goalie was complaining and didn't realize it outside. Lamela actually still is in play. So that, that was fun, but uh, no goal uh, result from that. Harry Kane makes the, gets the lead in the 4 45th. Then uh, early in the second half, I think both Kane and um, was it Dele, Dele Alli hit him one scene uh, twice, the one the left, one the other one the right post, and then Hoiberg in the 62nd sets the, uh, settles the game, makes it 2 0. Um, and yeah, and then the big one, probably the second field goal story in many ways uh, is what happened between West Brom and Liverpool. Where West Brom, Robson Canu gives um, West Brom the lead, Salah finds an equalizer in the third, 33rd. Liverpool cannot find a winner. Actually, uh, West Brom had scored a goal, but if it wasn't for a uh, player standing directly in front of Alisson Al Hens, there is uh, offside. But Liverpool cannot find the net. So who comes up? Alisson. And a corner from Alexander Arnold. He ha ha has it in in the 95th minute with the last kick of the game. Uh, I remember some stuff like that in Austria uh, in 94, I want to say. It's just one of those unbelievable scenes. And given uh, that Alisson's father had re recently passed away in Brazil and he couldn't attend the funeral, I think you you see kind of, kind of yeah, I can see that this is a big uh, moment. And any any time a goalkeeper scores, it's an absolutely big moment. It's also big, 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 big for Liverpool because now if you look at the standings, suddenly it's 62%. They started the week at 24% or 20, uh, and 20% uh, and then the results more or less fell their way and at the moment it's 72% for Leicester, 66 for Chelsea, uh, 66 for Chelsea and 62 for Liverpool and it very well might come down to goal there. The difference at the moment, Chelsea has a slight advantage. Um, up top and on down the bottom, everything is settled. Um, also, Spurs going ahead of West Ham United, who might find themselves in the Conference League, uh, which is also one of those. I hear English teams don't want to go go there. I actually think this this Conference League might be a little bit more attractive than one might think, but I know it's not the Champions League. 
it's not the champ uh, it's not the champions league for sure um as for expected finish we still have leicester and chelsea ahead of liverpool but as you can see it's really 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 tight and west ham i have also still ahead of spurs because of the final two games and we have midweek games um the two that you have to pick out is on tuesday chelsea against leicester replay of the fa cup final and very much uh, whoever wins that one looks very good for the Champions League. The loser has to be a little bit care careful. And as I said, it might come down to goal diff difference. Uh, Leicester probably can more afford a draw than Chelsea. And then Liverpool needs to beat Burnley uh, on Wednesday. And then we'll see how the final day of the season goes. So yeah, uh, it gets there's still something to play for in the Premier League, and that's exciting. Uh, and it involves quite a few big, big names, that which also makes it exciting. So I want to know what you thought about the week in, especially England. Also, we didn't talk much about the Netherlands because that is uh, done at the moment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye.